Thanks for staying with us at 530. It is the first day of early voting in Georgia, and so far, some feel it's been a disaster. There have been some technical glitches, but just also a lot of long lines and some voters saying that they're frustrated with the wait. Others saying, look, they're excited to be there to finally weigh in on this election season that we've been talking about for months now. Chopper 46 flew over several locations, giving us an idea of just how long those lines are. And in several places, you can see the lines out the door, down the street, around the circle, you name it. But in some cases, they were even wrapped around the building. So with election day just over three weeks away today, is for some raising some concerns. CBS 46 political analyst Rashad Ritchie, he joins us now. And Rashad, you saw the lines. They give us flashbacks to the June primary. The first impression is what is going wrong, but maybe something's going right. Well, you have both happening. Here's what's going right. This is a hyper turnout. You're going to see a record number of people vote in this election cycle. I'm making that prediction today based on the results of today. Here's the issue. A lot of precincts were not prepared to have this many people at the same time. You've got lines wrapped around the building, lines down the block, but some voters are coming prepared. Snacks, their own chairs, their own water, uh, because they're willing to wait. Here's what's ironic. Out of all of the complaints we received today, the cab, Cobb, Fayette, and Douglas had some of the longest lines. Fulton County, ironically, the county that usually is the most problematic county, they did not have the same number of complaints and a lot of that is is attributed to the fact that they have this partnership with the state farm arena that partnership has proven to be very valuable for fulton county voters you know we heard from the campaigns make a plan rashad figure out a way that you are going to get yourself to the polls and get your vote registered uh, it just looks like so many people came up with the same plan to go out today on day one what do you think is behind this motivation uh, and which side stands to benefit from this early turnout? Well, the motivation is this. People are excited to participate. They're excited to vote. Um, when you look at the precincts and where people are participating in the highest numbers on day one, it definitely favors the challenger because these are urban precinct in the metropolitan area. And I will say this, you got a lot of organizations who are working to get people to the polls. They are doing free rides to the polls. One organization is called Neighborhood Assistance Corporation of America. They're doing free rides to the poll and this is part of their Rolls to the Polls campaign. That number is one 888 Four nine five six two two two. They have 100 vans and they're looking to bring 100,000 people from today all the way up until Election Day in November. I'm curious. Maybe you can find out for us and we can post that information on CBS46.com how effective those rides have been and how many people they've been taking to the polls because the turnout is just unbelievable. Thinking maybe perhaps, Rashad, that the holiday played a role too. Thank you so much for your insight. It is always invaluable. Thanks, Rashad.